horses have been with the park here since the beginning of the national parks. They're by far the safest means of getting around and traveling in the backcountry. For one, they can cross rivers. They're very low profile on the landscape, so their other wildlife isn't afraid of them. In the summer, the horses are used extensively to follow the bison from place to place and keep track of them. We have gotten three bison from a local rancher out here. Now these bison will never be turned loose in the park, therefore getting our horses and colts used to them so when they see the first one in the bush it won't be a total surprise to them. We use the horses for a variety of backcountry tasks, be it access to cabins, monitoring the bison, telemetry, or just binoculars, and then to pack gear as well. It's pretty neat to get back there with the horses. You definitely gain a bond with them while you're working, and especially on nine-day shifts where these are some, some of the only interactions you have. But yeah, they're your pals back there, and they help you get the job done, and likewise, you kind of make sure everything's good for them. Bison were historically found here in Banff National Park. They have sort of been regarded as a bit of a keystone species, uh, which means they have a cascading effect on other species, such as songbirds, which we're monitoring. These are our bird recording devices that we're going to be putting out today. Tighten it right in. The program's been started and we're set to record tomorrow morning at 5.30. Bison can benefit birds in a number of different ways. We have seen ravens carrying bison hair. Their hair can be a really important source of nesting material. We've also seen the cowbirds riding on the backs of bison where they're plucking insects um, deep within their hair. In 2022, we'll be rolling up all the data that we've collected, and we collected several years of data before the bison arrived, so we have uh, comparison. And the goal in five years will be to look at that and say, okay, is this having a positive effect on the other ecosystems? And is it viable to keep a wild bison in Banff uh, in the long term? can't lose sight of how incredibly adaptive they've been and how they're tapping into something so instinctual and so powerful that it's allowing them to make these pretty big steps towards uh, being at home in a new environment. And it almost surprises me like how well they do fit in. Maybe by the time my son's my age, uh, dealing with a bison will be as normal a thing as dealing with a deer or an elk or a coyote. Uh, that would be really, really rewarding.